<laughs> Guy Williams test for space. Space. All right, action, Guy. Nice to have you with us. Well, it's nice being here. I want to talk a little bit about the new show we're going to do called Lost in Space. Uh huh. We have an idea that you might be great to play the father. I would like to tell you a little bit about him. Would you like to ask me something about the script? Well, I saw one of those uh, little flying machines. Yeah, space saucer. Yeah. I'd like to get one for myself. All right. The little one, you know. Yeah. You can smoke if you like while we tell you about it. All right. Uh, this is a story that takes place a couple of hundred years from now. A population explosion has reached a pinnacle, and man now looks for new places to live. And they take a trip out to outer space. And you're the other fellow that's got to drive the ship. Have you got a light? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know June Lockhart? Yes. Have you ever worked with him? No, not yet. Well, uh, I didn't... <laughs> well, maybe next week, huh? Uh, you play the father of a 17-year-old girl. We were a little concerned that maybe that would be a little old for you. The girl, I mean. Do you know when I started? No. <laughs> started what? Well, I might be old enough. Oh. Don't you have a grown son and daughter? I have a son who's 12. Well, that's, that's old enough. I guess you'll work it. Have you met the fellow over there who's just coming in? That's David Hedison. Who's Hi, Dave. Visited with our set. And over on the other side is uh, Richard Bayside. Oh, with the camera. Yeah. It's been a Merry Christmas for him. Um, you said you hadn't met uh, June as yet. No, I haven't. All right. I just said something terribly funny. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Cut and print it. Guy Williams test for Lost in Space, take two. Yeah, I will. Action. Hello, Guy. Hello, Aaron. How are you? Okay. We've got you here today to talk a little bit about a new project of ours called Lost in Space. I imagine you've heard something about it. I certainly have. Good things, I trust? Yes. All right. Uh, I think you've met the leading lady. You've worked with her? No, I've never worked with her. You're just hoping to? Yeah. Starting in about a week, huh? In a week? Yes. Have you met uh, George over here? Hello, George. Have you met uh, Jack over on the other side? Jack, how are you? Uh, those are the two fellows from that uh, famous show of yours called Zorro. Where? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know anything? Have you done any studying at all about outer space? You've been doing any reading lately about it? My son uh, keeps me posted you on have, everything. You have a grown-up son around uh, 14, 15? He's 13. He's 13? Yeah. I'm trying to make you look a little older, so I suggested 14, 15. However, before uh, he's we're really 16. Yeah. <laughs> before we're through with this test, you will age considerably. If you'd like to smoke, it's perfectly normal. Yeah, okay. Uh, before you leave tonight, I want to make sure you get a copy of the script so that you be familiar with it. I'd like you to tell me just a little bit about what you've been doing lately. Well, I've been doing some writing. Well, all right. And I assume you've been doing some acting. Yes. Good. The Zorro show was on the air for several years, wasn't it? It was on two years. Tell us a little bit about it. What was it about? What was it about? It was a, a Southwestern. A Southwestern? A Southwestern. I see. Villains of uh, all what, sorts. 1890s? 1820. 1820. Please go ahead and light up. You did meet George over there, didn't you? Mm-hmm. We're still there. Yeah. And Jack? I want to talk to you seriously now for just a minute. If you will be very serious, we'll be able to discuss some deep philosophy here. Um, have you read any good books lately? Yes. Would you like to tell me about it? I just finished Only You, Dick Daring. Oh. Cut. You just said the wrong thing. 